mama does, you know, my, my mother did, sat me down and showed me how to get on food stamps and shit, you know? But then show me how to get a house type of deal, you know? And she did, but one thing I always seen her do is open up the Bible, though, you know? Made me think it's gotta be something up in that book, you know? She at least did that, you know what I'm saying? Ephesians chapter 4, verse 24. And that ye put on the new man, which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. Yeah, the new man is really, what is the new man? The old man is whatever had you fucking up sin. You know what I'm saying? The, the, whatever he was doing that was of the world, the new man is everything that's according to the Bible. So when you read it, you apply it. You know what I'm saying? You're a new creature to this thing, man. Don't give a damn if you got a PhD in whatever. Does that mean that you just stop being a doctor if you're a, a fucking surgeon? And you come into the truth, that means you just stop being a surgeon? No. That's your, it's a balance to it, man. You don't just drop off every single thing, you know? But you just, you're supposed to be spiritual, man. So you drop off a mentality that you had, you know? There are certain things you did, you smoked, or you believe that you come from monkeys and all that. There's things that you drop off, but there's things that you don't drop off, man. You know? But you really, you, know, you filter through the scriptures, they'll tell you. They said, man, that don't work, don't eat. You know what I'm saying? And a brother, uh, uh, not brother, nigga, nigga's like, oh, that's something I work. And it is something I work. But it's still something my spiritual, too. If you don't do the work, you don't eat. How, do, how are you going to flip your talent? You know? If you're just sitting there, man, do you think that a man that's on the highways and byways doing videos, you know, if a, if a brother's on the highway it's five days a week and we're out here one day a week, you think that brother's going to get into the kingdom uh, 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 and have the same riches as us? You know what I'm saying? No, it's going to have more because it's, it's crowds upon your head. Now, we all working for the same talent, which is ultimately salvation. You know, it's like getting in the theme park. Yeah, you got in the theme park, but I got the unlimited pass. I get to get on everything. Meanwhile, you just get on the basic rides. Some people just got general admission. You know? There's crowns, there's, 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 there's levels. If that was the case, then your house shy would be on the same level as us. Now, we are brothers and, and, and partakers of with your house shy, but we ain't on the same level. You and I know that, all right? David, King David, yeah, we all gonna be in the kingdom together, but you and I know what, based on what the scripture says, there's going to be levels in the kingdom. Yahweh Shai, uh, King David, the disciples, the 144,000 prophets, and the rest of Yahshua Allah. There's going to be a ranking system within the kingdom of heaven. But guess what? Everybody get that same talent. What's that same talent? The admission into the theme park, so to speak, for lack of better words, which is the kingdom of heaven. Now, once you get in there, then you know your place. Or you get to ride, get on this ride, that ride, you, get, you know? You get to do this, you're blessed with this. You know? Everybody putting the work, the man on the cross, he gonna get, he gonna get into the kingdom of heaven, right? But Paul's gonna get into the kingdom of heaven. That's what we are working for, that same tab. But when they get in there, Paul's gonna be ranked over that man on the cross. Guaranteed. Okay? That's that, that's the difference. It's like it's like the Lord, you know, they, you know, with a record in the scriptures show that he uh he started, you know, teaching it about twelve. For the most part he died around thirty-three. But that's twenty-one years. Now the elders been in here longer than twenty-one years, but that don't mean that they're gonna overrank, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, how was shy, man. All right, yeah, yeah, because it comes down to the work you put in, all right? How much did you, did you sacrifice, all right? How much time did you sacrifice putting towards it, all right? 
And it ain't like you can just do it like, look at me, Lord. Look what I'm doing. Uh, rank me up. You know, it, it don't work like that. It's about sincerity, man. It's about truth. All right. That, that's why we said so a, a while ago it's not about like, like with videos or, 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 uh, or views. You know what I'm saying? It's like, who's more sincere? A brother that puts up three or four sincere videos, a brother that puts up eight of them and only like two of them sincere. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not about how much, I mean, videos or whatever you put up. Where is your, where's your level of sincerity and your level of faith then? Quality over quantity. Yeah, is that following your word? And the Lord is the same way. Exactly. That's why He's not coming to save the whole world. That's why He's not saving all nations. His quality over quantity. He always been like that. All right. Out of out of, out of the children of Israel that came out of Egypt, only two of them made it through the wilderness, man. Joshua and Caleb. They the only one made it all the way through the wilderness and into the Promised Land. As old men, you know? Everybody else is throughout the generation. Okay? But two out of all the ones that came out of Egypt, only two made it to the promised land. He had uh, uh, the story with Gideon. Alright? I don't know how many thousands they had, but they ended up with 300 men to go fight against thousands. Because those 300 men have more quality than the thousands of the, uh, of the heathens, man, of their quantity. All right? The Lord rocked with 12 men when he was on the scene. He didn't rock with everybody. It was quality over quantity, but with those 12, you know, one one losing and then somebody else being, being uh, coming in, being lotted in, all right, they pretty much set up the foundation to continue the work when he left, man. All right? So like it tell you in Romans uh, 12 chapter number four verse, the thing that was written aforetime was written for our learning. All right? We, we haven't physically met the Paul, all right? Or, or, or Yahweh Shai, or his brother, or any other disciples to where they can sit down with us and we know that it's them. And I say that because you do have reincarnation. All right, but we haven't sat down with them and they taught us. So the things that they witnessed, all right, the things that they, they heard, they wrote it down, man. All right, the Holy Scriptures right here, man. They wrote it down so in this day and age, in the land of our captivity, we can call on the name of our Heavenly Father, man. All right, it told us we was gonna lose our heritage. It told us who was gonna do it, how they was gonna do it, man. And it told us we were going to get it back. So why is it so far-fetched <laughs> when we proclaim to be the Israelites? Besides the fact that y'all have the, 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 uh, the spirit of deep sleep, you know what I'm saying? But it said they're going to lose their heritage and in the land of their captivity, they're going to get, get it. Who else went into the captivity as a boat, as a nation, and then lost who they were? and was scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and now proclaiming to be the Israelites, man. Only the people on this side, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans. Nobody else want to pick up the tab, all right? Now everybody want to be a spiritual Israelite. But nobody wants to be a spiritual Israelite when we was getting our asses whooped. When we had, when we, well, you still in captivity, we still on punishment, basically. All right, but during slavery, where was all those spiritual Israelites? All you crackers, y'all, y'all spiritual Israelites now. We all Gentiles. We grafted in. But when we was getting, when we was under them curses, real, real heavy. All right, didn't think we'd see the, see the day of light, the light of day. You know what I'm saying? Where was all that that spiritual Israelite stuff then, man? Y'all was too busy stripping it from us. James chapter 1 and verse 2 says my brother 
count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Yeah, they work patience. That's how it builds you up, man. That temptation come, you fight through that. You endure through that. That's what, hey, like I said, it was written, the things written four times for our learning, man. Job. They clearly tell you how Satan went to the Most High and asked him. Well, he ain't, you, know, you tried my servant Job, man, he ain't gonna turn his back on you. You gave him everything. You got everything, man. All right? He's like, all right, you can do this, but don't do this. You know, but the more and more, the more and more uh, Satan tried, for him to uh, go against the Heavenly Father, the, the stronger Job integrity got. He might have been mad about the situation, the things he was going through, all right, but he, he never denounced the Lord, man. All right, he kept, he endured, man. He couldn't break him, he wouldn't fold. He wouldn't fold. And what did, what did Job get at the end of that? Double of what he had. And he lost riches, he lost family, houses, like, he had uh, 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 you know, boils all on his skin and, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Just like, man, it's, it is what it is. But, hey, hey, what the scriptures say? Though you slay me, yet will I uh, remain my integrity, man. All right? So the Lord is going to whoop your ass here to here. You know, time to time. Because that's him chastising you. Because he loves you. Because uh, he's trying your faith. Because he's strengthening you, man. Okay? That's like we said earlier, you gotta level up though. Alright? Shit, you go there and sit there and play the game, you think at the end of the game it's gonna be as easy as it was at the beginning? No, it's gonna get harder. That's why they call it the boss level. I ain't never played Mario and Paul Bowser as soon as I started the game. And, and on a level one level. <laughs> yeah, Bowser level one. No, Bowser stay on that level. You know what I'm saying? And the stronger, the, the, the stronger you get, the better you get, the further you go. Then you want to get the ball to take out the ball, man. Like, uh, dang, I can't think of the game. It was some game. But you get there to where, you know, you fight the boss and it's like, he got like, you see one bar, but that bar go down, he still got a whole nother bar there. Like, man, what the fuck was this? I thought I was done. Uh, it might have been, it might have been, uh, matter of fact, it was. No, no, Marvel vs. Capcom. Get new players. At the end, you got to fight uh, the purple dude. Uh, I forget his name. Uh, but he, he, you know, he, he like super, man, I don't know. But his life go down, he got a whole nother portal. You think that you done, but he got a whole nother portal. What's my name? Yeah, yeah, that's a whole different motherfucker like that. Yeah, so, hey, and that, it's not over until it's over. Don't get relaxed, man. All right? Don't get relaxed and, and when you overcome temptation. Okay? Because best believe Satan's coming back. Not celebrating too early. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. Don't celebrate too early, man. Get a two-piece off on Mayweather then. Put your hands head. up at the crowd. He comes. Who? Like hey, 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 that reminds me of Mark. Uh, that episode of Mark when he's fighting Tommy Hearns, man. He got some, he got some licks off on him. You know, when he his, uh, his period, and turns around and starts celebrating towards the crowd, turns around and gonna knock him off, man. Can man do unto me? 
Exactly. As long as you got the fear of the Lord, you shouldn't fear man. All right, it tells you in Matthew, they only got power over your body. But the Lord got power over your body and your spirit. Okay? Hey, a perfect example of that scripture is the woman in Maccabees, man. And her, and her children, and her, and her sons. God. They didn't care about it. They, they knew they was going to be put through a hell before they died. But they were like, what, what's, is, it more, is it more worthy of what they're going to do to me? Or what you how about some going to do to me? And they said, fuck that. We're going to take this physical punishment, man. Because we believe in the Heavenly Father. Man. Come on, seven sons? Seven, yeah, the yeah, yeah, seven yeah. sons. You know, they wasn't worried about the physical torment that they were going to go through. They had their mind already made up. Exactly. And they, they explained it. Yeah, I'm about saying they explained it. Like, look, man, you're doing all of this, but I know the Lord's on 